Good afternoon and welcome to MCHSLive.com News. Today on the show we have details from last night's volleyball match, highlights from the softball, and much more. It's finally Friday, August 14th, and the news starts now. Welcome back. Let's get into today's sports news. For the last couple of days, we have told you about the swim team Google Classroom code. Well, Mr. White can't see and we have been giving you the wrong code, so here's the right code. 6AR4L4P. Again, the correct code is 6AR4L4P. If you are still confused or just want a good laugh, go see Coach St. John and ask him about the time he fought a bear. Tonight, the cross-country team is going to be carb-loading in preparation for their meet in the morning at Loganville Christian Academy. They will take on 25 teams from around the state. The varsity boys start at 8 a.m. and the girls start at 8.30. There will be a combined JV race at 9. If you can, make plans to go out and support our team. Last night, the Lady Dogs volleyball team took the court at Oconee County for a tri-match against Oconee County and Loganville Christian Academy. The night started against Loganville Christian Academy with the ladies winning in two sets, 25 to 8 and 25 to 22. Brooke Butler led the team with seven kills and two aces. Anna Cox had 17 assists. Next, the ladies took on Oconee County and won in straight sets, 25 to 19 and 25 to 20. Butler again led with 16 kills. Addie Christian led the team with digs and 18 in that match. The ladies are 4-0 and take the court again tomorrow at Brookwood. Last night, the softball team hosted Alcove at home. The ladies got the action started early with an Avery Kinnett hit that scored Anna Kate Hill. Brianna Lanford laid down a great bunt to score. Kinnett and Ryan Henderson gets a single to score Lanford. After the one Lady Dogs were up 3 to nothing, the Lady Dogs never looked back on their way to a 10-5 win. Emma Gardner got the win with Sarah Ellen Mercer throwing three strikeouts on her way to the save. At the play, Anna Kate Hill went three for four. Went three for. She's somebody that's comfortable. Stole bases, two RBIs. Leah Spain was two for three with two stolen bases, and Amelia Anderson had a great day at the plate, going three for three. After the game, we talked with Coach McBay about Mercer's performance and leadership. She's somebody that's comfortable in her own skin, and uh, whoever you see in the hallway or whoever you see uh, on Sunday at church or if you bump into her or she's in the circle right there, she's the same person. And, and that's good to know as a coach that you can always count on that, rely on her. She's going to give you your best effort no matter who the opponent is. You know, I think pitching over the last three years against one of the toughest regions in the state is probably something that gave her a lot of confidence. And as a coach, I, you know, I got total confidence in her and the rest of our players. But, but especially her because she's going to bring it every time, just do her best and whatever happens, happens. We also asked Mercer about her leadership and how it helps the younger players. My experience helps the younger players because I'm always, I feel like I'm always encouraging, I always try to be upbeat. Even if I'm down myself or if I get pulled out of the game or have a bad game myself, I like to encourage the next pitcher that goes in or if someone else is having a bad game, I like to everyone, keep everyone positive and good spirit. Finally, the win last night was a milestone for Coach McBay. The win was McBay's 200th as a head coach. Reflecting on her time with him, Sarah Ellen said her favorite memory of McBay was... It was my freshman year at FCA camp when we all went whitewater rafting and he was telling us about how he almost died and that's how he ended up at Morgan County. The Lady Dogs take the field again tonight at home facing Eastside at 4.30 and Hart County at 8 p.m. If you can, grab a chair and a mask a chair and come check out some great action. That does it for sports today. Congrats again on Coach McVay on his 200th win. Carson, what do you have for us today in the news? Thanks, Riley. Today we have J.O.'s weather forecast, details about the debate club, but first let's get today's AP News Minute. This is AP News Minute. President Trump's campaign is suing two Iowa counties to try to invalidate tens of thousands of voter absentee ballot applications. Trump admitted in an interview that he's keeping the funds from the Postal Service to make it harder to process mail-in election ballots in November. India is now reporting 48,000 coronavirus deaths, more than any country other than the U.S. and Brazil. India also has reported more than 2 million COVID-19 cases, but the majority
majority of those people have recovered. Texas says it has fewer than 7,000 hospitalized coronavirus patients for the first time in six weeks. However, state health officials are worried that not enough people who don't have symptoms are getting tested. And several more wildfires broke out in Southern California as the region deals with a fierce heat wave. The Lake Fire north of Los Angeles is threatening more than 5,000 homes. Mike Heppen, the Associated Press, with AP News Minute. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Jay Cooper, reporting live from the NCHS Weather Center. Today, it looks like we'll continue to have scattered thunderstorms throughout today and tomorrow. And the sunset is at 8.20 p.m. But for Sunday, it looks like we're in the highs to mid upper 80s, which sounds to me like a Sunday fun day. My name is Jay Cooper. Have a great day and go dogs. The, MCA the MCHS debate team is forming the 2020-21 school year. There is an interest meeting Thursday at 6 p.m. in the quad for anyone interested in participating. Please make sure that if you are interested that you bring a parent with you. If you have any questions, see Ms. Mahoney or one of the co-captains, Hannah Cook or Elle Musk for details. Today's joke of the day is for those who just can't help spending money. Never buy Velcro. Like, never ever buy Velcro. It's a total ripoff. Thanks for watching today's show. Join us Monday for updates from the weekend in sports, details about the news from around the world, and more. Have a great weekend, and as always, go dogs! Walk out.